Hello everybody! This is Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you, or not a haul, sorry, a, um, a coloring supplies video. So I'll be showing you what I have, um, what I use, what I like to use, what I don't like using, that type of thing. Um, I'm not an expert by any means on any of these whatsoever. I just know that they, I either like the way that they put the color down or I don't. And that's about it. So, but I will tell you the names of them and I'll try and remember how much I paid for them because everything I have here I think pretty much came from Amazon. Um, and that's about it really. So I'll just start with this little pile of things here just because it's loose and then I'll get it out of the way. Um, I got this, this is actually all from the same company. I had shown a book that I bought at a Goodwill on my coloring book collection and it came with these. I think I mentioned that in the in the video as well that it came with five each of gel pens, brush markers, and fine tips. So that's what these are and the company name is Spicebox. So this came with a coloring book. Um, so this is the the brush tip. Oh, they're actually quite nice. I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting them to be. Um, nice. <laughs> so that those come in blue, green, pink, and brown and one more, an orange. So those are the brush tips. And then, I'm going to use a darker color. And then there's the fine tips. Well, they're a little bit scratchy. But not like this is a set that you're going to go out and buy anyways, because these just came with the coloring, um, coloring book. So that's these here, and they come in the, the purple, the pink, the green, the blue, and the red. And then there's the gel pens. And they're a little bit scratchy too. They don't write as smoothly as the other ones that I have, but still useful. The color's good. And those came in yellow, red, silver, pink, well, hot pink, and gold. So I'll just put those out of the way. And put, I have a box of randoms, so I'll end up putting them in there when we get to it. Um, then I ordered off of Amazon. I got a great deal and the deal is no longer available but I got this set of brush tip dual tip markers and um, you have a brush on one end and a bullet on the other and I really really like these they are STA, STA Aquarelle brush is the name of them and I paid there's 80 different colors and I paid fifteen dollars um, I don't know how many they had left at that that amount or if they only had a few left so they blew them out I'm not sure but fifteen ninety seven for eight for eighty color markers I thought was pretty darn good and they work really nicely both sides. I've, I've done some coloring with them. They're, um, they've got a nice brush tip on the end of them and then they're, they're fairly like stiffish so you can get a good, you know, you can really write well with them or on our, in our case, color with them. 
and the colors are really, really nice. And then there's the bold tip, or the bullet tip, which is also very nice. So yeah, very happy with those. And then we have my lovely pencil crayons. I got this case for, oh, and these ones, I lost the lid already, but these come in a hard plastic container with four compartments. So they're, they're fine stored in there. And then this um, case I got on Amazon. .ca and I paid $29.99 for it and it's a hard hard one it's not tin or anything like that but it is a hard covered case and it came with a strap as well which I've taken off and then it has a handle here too so in here there is a zipper at the top so you can put whatever you want in the in there. And then in these two front pockets, I've just put all my um, my blacks, whites, bronze, silver, gold, and some grays. So that's what's in this front front pocket here. And I have two types of pencil crayons in here. I have my oil based set, which are Brutfuners. I don't know if you can see that. That's, my hands are a bit shaky, so I can't hold it perfectly still. But Brut Funer, it's B R U T F U N E R, and they're a very nice pencil. Um, at first, I thought they were they were um, like a hard hard pencil crayon, but after using them. Um, they're quite soft and creamy, but I thought they were going to be a hard tip, but they're not. They're quite soft um, and really nice to color with. And then the second ones that I have are Marco Ruffines. Again, I don't know if you can see that. And I can't hold my hand still. Anyways, they are Marco Ruffines. And um, they're pretty nice too. The Brute Funners, I got 160 colors, and they were $36.99, and I got them off Amazon. And then the Marco Ruffines, I bought quite a few years ago when I first started coloring, um, and I probably paid about $25 for the set um, of 72 off of Wish. So it was like 20, 20 or twenty-five dollars for a set of seventy-two, so which was you know a pretty good deal too. So I'll just show you here. So I have them by color, and I have them mixed in together. So I, I have my actually we'll start at the other end because it's the beginning. So on the other side, it has two pockets. And I suppose you could put a book or something in there with this, this tie down. It has a, a Velcro there. But here I have my metallic markers and then my skin tones. And then I have my, um, whatchamacallit, colored pencil blender in there as well. And then here I started with my, sorry about that guys. I started with my blues, so I have the Burt Funer first, um, all the, the blues that came with it, which is a lot. It's probably the color that I have the most of. And then I have the Marco Ruffines on the end. And this case holds 240 pencil crayons, um, but I've probably got a few more in here because as you'll notice, I've got them teepeed, so I've got three on the bottom and one on the top in some places so and in some places it's two with one on the top they're not all even the, the elastics but anyways so then I have a ton of green as well these are all the greens that came with the Brute Funer 160 set and then I have my Marco Ruffines uh, can't quite see I've got two here 
and then the rest of the Marco Raffines here of green. And then there's the yellows of the, the two sets right here. And then the orange. And on this side is the purples, the two different sets. And there's a couple metallic ones in here as well. Oh yeah, and the, the Burt Flinners came with the metallics. Um, I think there might be eight metallic ones. I'm not positive of the amount. And then of course reds, browns, um, or browns then reds. And the remainder of the reds here, and then all the pinks and the peaches. So those are my pencil crayons. So if you're interested in any of those, um, just go on Amazon. They're a good deal, and they work really well. I'm very happy with them. Put those to the side. And then I have this case here. Um, I'm pretty sure this came off of Amazon, but I don't know how much it was. My sister gave this to me, so your guess is as good as mine, but I'm thinking it's probably around the $30 mark as well. They seem to be ranged between $25 and, what, $30 and $35 around there, so maybe even higher. But um, this was probably around $30. I don't know for sure. But what I liked about the other one um, that has my pencil crayons in it is that everything flips up, whereas these ones flip to the side, and they take up a bit more room on, on the table. But we survive. So I have an assortment of markers in here. So first I have all my Sharpies, and I think this case is supposed to hold 202 pencil crayons, but obviously less because I have markers in here. Um, they take up more space. So I have my Sharpies, um, all the different colors, well, not all the different colors, but um, a fairly large set. And my sister bought those for me as well off Amazon, so I don't know, don't remember how much they were at all. Um, I had them on my wish list, but I, I don't know how much they were. And then, quite a long time ago, I bought this set of um, Bic marking pens. Some of them are bullet tip. Yeah, so, no, that's a fine... Now, I don't know which ones are which. It doesn't really say. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's the bullet tip. And then there's some of the ultra fine tip there. So there's a great assortment of colors. I also have from BIC, they're called Market. So whether they're the same as the marking um, and just they changed the name, I'm not sure, but these as well have a bullet tip. And they write and color really nicely. And we'll give one a go. And of course they go through. <laughs> but yeah, so the colors are good. They're nice and bright and colorful. They're not dull or too light or whatever. They put down good color. And then I have a set of these Sargent markers. I must have ordered them off of um, Amazon back when I first started coloring because I don't remember picking them up. So 
They are a brush pen, a brush marker. Let's see which way this goes. There we go. And they're they're very nice. They're very inexpensive. Um, I know because I've been looking, you know, at the markers and everything when I bought my Aquarelle set. Um, and these these were pretty cheap, but I didn't buy any because I already had this assortment. So. But they're very similar to the, the Aquarelles. The Aquarelles are a bit um, like the brush on it. It's a little bit nicer. But for an inexpensive marker, you know, you get good color and it's a nice brush. And the set that I got came with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That sounds odd. Oh no, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's 18. And then these two on the end, they are oh yeah, these are from um Desiree, Desiree or Desire. Des Desire. D E S E R R E S, and these I bought individually. Um, that, that is the name of a, a craft store that we have here. Um, I'm not sure if it's in the states or not. It probably is. Um, but yeah, so this one has the angled tip, so like a calligraphy type tip on one end, and the uh, a bullet, a smaller bullet on the other end. And I have not tried these yet. I've just I've had them for ages but never tried coloring with them. Yeah, they they're nice. Yeah, quite nice and smooth. So I have that in a light blue and a green. It was just two random colors that I picked. And then next, I have a set from Michaels. They're the Artist Loft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There must be twelve of these, but I've only got eleven here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Yeah, I must be missing one. But that's okay. These write quite nicely or color quite nicely as well. Um, they they are double ended as well. These are the artist loft um, watercolor dual tip marker. So there's like a thin bullet tip. And then a nice brush there. And I've colored a few pictures with these. They're quite nice. Our writing's terrible, but the markers are nice. So those are a good deal at um, I think it was seven dollars for this for this pack and that's not bad at all so if you have limited funds and you pop into Michaels and just pick up this this pack here I think they have larger packs as well um, not very expensive or even the sergeant the uh, sergeant art those are good ones to order off of Amazon if you're on a limited budget and they they have lots of really nice colors um, more colors than the Artist Loft set. And then I have these. I had to have these. They're wonderful. And I know that sounds kind of weird. Just a minute. Okay. These are like a paint marker. You have to shape them. 
and they've got a bullet tip. Oops, I need more. Now, these are quite old, so they might be drying up too. Oh, they were so nice too. But it has been a while since I've used them, so they might need uh, priming. Oh, you know what? These might be garbage now. But they were very, very nice. And they're the Crayola um, metallic ones. Let me just try one of the others and see if it's any better. I think they might be drying up. And they had them for a really long time. Yeah. Well, that was not too bad there. I know you can't see it on the screen there, but there's sparkles all through it. No, you can't tell. But it is. Very nice and metallic-y. I'll keep those and try priming them a bit better. And then I have the Crayola uh, metallic bullet tip regular markers. And these are nice too. So, and they're obviously very inexpensive. And they're very metallic y. I like these ones a lot too. I think there's eight in that set. And then I picked these up, and they're really nice little markers. I picked these up from the dollar store, and I paid $4. And there's four colors in it. Um, you get a just a fine nib there. And then you get a broader bullet tip there. And they're nice colors and not, not bad at all to say they came from Dollarama. And that came in four colors. Um, the blue, the orange, the purple, and the, the greenish teal. Um, Next I have, this is a metallic marker that came from the Dollarama as well. I have no idea how this one works or if it's very metallic. Oh yeah. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know, I think that came in a set, but this is the only one I seem to have. And then I have two of the Zig Memory System Wink of Stella markers. These are the very fine tip ones. And I'm sure we all know how the, oh, you know what, these might be drying up on me. I've had these for a while. Oh, no, there we go. It's working. No. I think that is drying up. We'll have to see what we can do with that. I'd never, I think I've only used these once or twice too. And the gold one seems to be okay. And keep them for now. And those were bought just randomly as well. Just, uh, no, it doesn't say how much they were. 
and I probably got them from a scrapbooking store. Oh, I have these jammed in pretty good. And then this is uh, Chromatics dual tip markers, and this is a cranberry color. It's an alcohol blending marker by American Crafts. And it's got a nice, oh, again. Actually, the brush on this isn't very nice at all. And it's drying out anyways. I think that one's no good. Yeah, those are no good. Let's try the other one. I have two of them. This one is a zig. Pigment ink, acid-free, archival quality, light, fast, waterproof, fade-proof, non-bleeding, Zig Memory Systems, and it's a writer. And it's got... There, that one works well. And then this is a bullet tip. So bullet and fine. Oh yeah, this one still works well. That's good to know. This is another Zig writer, and those ones we've done, one, two, three, four, what's this one, yep, those ones we've done, they're the ones from the dollar store, and then I have these Studio G ones. Uh, small writing. This is a brush tip marker. This is a nice teal color. And again, I've had these for ages too. But those work nice. And that's just the one sided one. So that's Studio G. Let's see if they're all brush. No, these the, these white ones are bullet. Looks like they were on sale when I bought them. Yep, good color on those. They're nice and juicy. And then I we have a store here. I don't know where the other two are. Oh, it looks like I'm missing two of my paint pens, but that's okay. Um, I went to a store here called Miniso, and I bought this one. So it's a Japanese store. So it's got the brush tip. This is a really pretty color. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's a nice brush tip. Oh, I like that. It's very, very narrow at the end. It's quite a long. I don't know if you can tell, but oh, that's very nice. I might have to go back and get some more of those. Oh no, actually, I got this one in Niagara Falls at the store they have in Niagara Falls called Mini So, um, Niagara Falls, Ontario. I visited my sister last year for a couple of months. And she took me to this store. No, I thought they were double-ended, but they're not. What's that say? Close. I'm not sure what that is. But it looks like you can alter it here by turning this. I'm not sure. And, oh, this is just a black fine tip marker. We don't need to look at that. These ones here I, I ordered off of um, AliExpress, and they're very nice markers. Um, they're a brush tip, metallic. And I've, used, I've used the pink one so far, but these, these are very nice to use. They're almost like paint.
They are called Metallic Brush. Oh, STA, S T A. So they're the same as my other brush tip markers. But these are all very nice. And they, they leave a nice metallic shine. And then I have this set of metallic ones. There's four, five, six in this set. And I got them from, uh, from the dollar store, from Dollarama. And I remember these being pretty decent. Yeah, they're scratchy. As you can probably even hear that. But they are a nice... They come up nice in color. It's that purple one there. And they do have a nice metallic look to them. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, here's the two that I thought I was missing. So these I also got from Mini So. They are um, Mini So acrylic painters. And you have to give these a good shake. Oh, they're so nice. That's a metallic one. I'm just about done here, guys. Yeah, these are both very nice. I, I would like to go back and, and get some more. I think we have a mini so here in Edmonton now. So I will go looking for those. And now I also have these called West Tab. I think these came with a coloring book. I'm not sure how they work. Oh. Nothing special, but I've got a fine and then a broad nib, bullet nib. And that came in a two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Pen pack. Oops. And these last two, or these as well. These these ones here just came from the dollar store. They're just the uh, a very fine tip marker. Yeah, they're still working. So nothing special to those. Just from the dollar Emma. And I just keep them in here. So these two are two fine tip ones. Um, they are called Lupin. Um, Marvy or Marv. Marv or Marvy, Japan. And then these two. So I'm sure you guys have heard of Lupin. Yeah, they're still holding their color. I've had these for ages. I would have just picked them up randomly. And that's all that's in that container. Set that to the side. And see what's next. Oh, now I've got my gel pens. These I love. These I bought off of Wish um, quite a few years ago. Um, when I say quite a few, I mean like four years ago, three or four years ago. Um, there's, there was 48 pieces. It was my first set of gel pens. And these are so nice and so smooth and so juicy. Like they are just really good. And they're called Diamonds. And there was 48 colors, and they came in this nice container. So I am missing one, but it has metallics, neon, your regulars, and your pastels. And I just, I just really, really like them a lot. 
We'll see if we can get this one out. But this is what the top of them looks like. That's with the lid on. And then with the lid off, they've got a dot. They've got, uh, on the top of them, they've got a diamond shape. And they just, they're so nice. Ooh. So smooth. Like, there's no scratchiness to that at all. And to color, they're so nice. And I don't remember how much these were, but I wouldn't have paid more than $20, $25 for them. Um, I'm a bit cheap, so I wouldn't have paid more than that. And these were off of Wish. And now my latest set of gel pens. This is a... Um, how many is in here? A hundred. There's a hundred in here. And these, I know they don't say anything here, it just says gel pen set, but they are tan mitts. Let me see one that we can actually read. Oh, oh right here. A tan mitt, T-A-N-M-I-T. And they're super nice. These are just, just as nice as the, the diamond ones. And these come with metallics and um, regular neon and pastels as well. And then it's just a big long fold out package that's all connected. So it's pretty easy to use. Let's just pick one of these. They're nice and smooth and they're pretty full too. You know, sometimes you buy these cheaper ones and they only come a quarter of the way full or halfway full. But these ones are pretty good pretty good. And they're very smooth. There's not a whole lot of difference between these and the diamond ones, so I got lucky. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sorry, I don't think you saw that. Yeah, so they're nice to color with. I have colored a picture with these and with the other ones, so um, they, they work really nicely on, on the paper. So that's 100 colors. And these were $23.99 for all 20. And then I got these from Staples. Um, I've heard a lot of people using them, and I was surprised because I didn't think they would be that good, but um, they're the Crayola Super Tips, but a lot of people swear by them, so for $15, you can't really go wrong for 100 colors, and they're a nice nib. I haven't used them yet, but yeah, they... Yeah, they're nice and wet. I thought they'd be a little bit drier and a little bit scratchy, but they're not at all. So you certainly can't go wrong for that price. But I bought these at Staples. But you can get them on Amazon as well. And all the prices I'm telling you are in Canadian dollars, so um, just take that into to mind because everything here is more expensive than in the States. And then I have a set of, another set of Marco Ruffines here. This is just a 48 set and I picked this up for about $3 at a Goodwill. So it's just got 48 colors inside, same as the other ones that I showed you. And they color nicely. They're a nice soft tip. Oh, 
spend any more time on those because they're the same as the last pencil crayons I showed you. And then these, um, I on my other video, my uh, coloring book collection, I showed you some loose leaf coloring pages that I got from a Crayola kit. Well, these are the markers that were in the Crayola kit. So they are, just it just says Crayola. But they work pretty good. I've already used them to color a, uh, a picture in, so I quite enjoyed that. Well, I can hear my dog getting into something, but I'm almost done, so hopefully it's nothing important. <laughs> And then I needed some fine liners. Of course, you need to have some fine liners. So I ended up picking this Arteza 72 fine liner pins. And I'm sorry, I don't remember how much they were. Um, they're 20 something, is what I'm going to say. But these are really nice fine liners. And they're the, the ultra fine, they're the 0.4. And there's three layers. And it's a nice tin that they come in. And they color well. Got lots of colors to choose from. So if you're ever one, wondering, you know, what kind of fine liners to get to get into those small little spaces, I would go with these ones. Um, they're not very expensive on Amazon, and uh, I just really like them. Now, this is just some random. Sorry for reaching over. I'm going to put these ones away. These are just some random gel pens that I have. Um, they're nothing special. They're from the dollar store. Um, I got these little tiny ones. You know, I think most of these are just random things that I've picked up from the dollar store here and there over the years. And they still work, so I just keep them in this, in this, uh, this container and if I run out of a color and it's in here then I'll use that one up and put it in its place. And then last but not least, well I shouldn't say that because there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> this is all my my extra markers that I don't have room to put in my my case. So these are from the dollar store but they are, um, where were these? They're a leisure art set of double-ended markers. And I did buy these at the dollar store, but they're not dollar store markers. They they would have been uh, a company that, that was clearing out, and they sent their stuff to the dollar store, Dollarama. And then I got super lucky one day. I went into um, Value Village. And oh no. And I found a set of Prisma Prismacolor um, double-ended markers. I think there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these are really cool. So they have a chisel tip. No, they're a bit different. This one has. Is that right? Yeah, they have a chisel tip and then a fine tip. You know, and they still work really well. So I was lucky with those that I found them. I only paid two or three dollars for the set. Um, and then also with these Spectrum Noirs, I have I have two sets, a purple and a blue. And I got those at Winners, and I think I paid six dollars or something like that for each set. So that's the purple and the blue, and they are Spectrum Noirs. And then I bought these off of Amazon. These are fine tip markers. Um, they work just fine for coloring as well if you're just doing you know like those patterns or anything like that they work fine for that kind of coloring 
um, might not want to use them on like grayscale or any fine detail you know something something like that like if, if you're just coloring a mandala or a pattern or a wallpaper or something like that these kind of markers are just fine and then at the dollar store in another set I got these Art with Edge Crayola Twist Up Pencils. So they're kind of neat. And I've paid a few dollars for those at the dollar store. Let's see if I can get those in there. And these are very, very old. I found them at a garage sale somewhere and they were, these are from Kohl's when Kohl's was their own company and they still work, which I can't believe. They must be like 30 years old, but they're really, they still work. I can't believe it. Yeah, I paid two dollars for them. And then they have these alcohol markers at the dollar store, so I picked up the two sets that they have. They're different colors. They don't have a, they just say craft on them, so they're not a, you know, a special brand or anything like that. Just probably made for the dollar store. And then I have some chalk markers. They're really soft and silky and smooth. I haven't used them for coloring yet, but I really like them. And then I have a few more of the marking ones here. Bit marking. They just wouldn't fit in my thing. Uh, that's more of the Prima Prisma colors. These are the bit. And then in here I just have some random no-name markers that were in a pack of something that I bought at one point from a, a thrift store. It probably had something in it that I wanted and then those just came with it. And they work and they color fine. So they're just cheapies. And there's a couple of these old Laurentians. Um, there's these brush tips from the dollar store. So you can use just about anything to color with it. I mean, some is better quality than others, but I mean, if you're just coloring for stress relief, you know, or what have you, and you're not really trying to make a piece of art, you can use anything, you know? You just go to your do local dollar store and pick something up or, you know, pick up a set of Crayolas or something like that. It doesn't need to be fancy and all that stuff. I mean, it's nice if you can get the fancy stuff, because they are nice to use, but you don't need it. Definitely don't need it. So that is everything now that I've shown you. Oh, and I'll never get these back in the way I had them. <laughs> no, nope, never will. All but those. Okay. So that's all that I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed looking through my stash. And I'm going to get coloring because I've got lots to do. <laughs> so it was great seeing you again. I hope you have a great week. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.